Here we want to integrate 1 over x to the 6th dx. So 1 over x to the 6th. Have to deal with this. How do we go about doing this? Typically, we would see it as the integral of x to the 6th. You know, and then you just use power rule, add 1, or add 1, and, and you're good. You just simplify if needed. But here, 1 over x to the 6th, how do I deal with that? Well, since the exponent is on the bottom, the x to the 6th is on the bottom, we can move this up to the top, and this is going to become x to the negative 6 dx. That's just knowing your negative exponent little tricks that if you bring this up to the top, now it's negative. Now, even though it's negative, we could still use the power rule. So I'm going to add 1 to the exponent, negative 6 plus 1. I'm going to write the uh, divide by negative 6 plus 1. So don't let the negative throw you off. Don't let the negative make you think like I got to do this different process. It is still power rule. It's still the same as integrating x to the 6th with it just being a positive 6. It's the exact same process. So this is going to be x to the negative 5. Negative 6 plus 1 is negative 5. Bottom, negative 6 plus 1 is negative 5. We have that constant. So I think this is fine. Um, just starting off, I, I don't think we should leave this as our final answer, but this this, uh, this look here, like it, there's not really any sort of simplifying that we could do, um, but this tells me that you understand the process. But now we just have to rewrite some things. So first of all, this x to the negative 5, that has to go down to the bottom. And then this negative 5, I could just write that negative out in the front. So I'm just going to write that as negative 1 over 5x to the 5th plus c. I think that would probably be the best way to write this answer, um, but I personally would be okay with this. Like if you just left it negative 5 like that, x to the 5th plus c. I think that's completely fine too. Uh, they're the, the exact same thing. It's just the placement of the negative is the only thing that starts. But the one thing that you want to make sure you're doing though is you want to make, bring that down to the bottom because it's x to the negative 5, so it has to come back down to the bottom. We typically don't write answers with negative exponents, just like how you wouldn't leave a fraction 2 over 4 and then say, like, oh, there's my answer. You'd want to simplify that down. Same concept with negative exponents. So yeah, so the integral here, 1 over x to the 6th, if you have something on the bottom, so if it was like 1 over x to the 7th or 1 over x to anything, would that be on the bottom? The trick here is you want to bring it up to the top and just make it negative and then use that power rule. So don't let the visual here throw you off. It's just power rule, but you have to manipulate some things before you start using power rule.